good evening from Epcot. <laughs> so it is Festival of the Holidays. Yeah, when did that even start? I feel like I'm so like It started lost. a long time ago. And it did? <laughs> I mean, it started in November. Oh my God. I think. Pretty sure it was right after Thanksgiving. So yeah. it's been like almost okay. a month. But, um, well not quite. It's before the holiday rush, but it is December. But we're here to see the festival. It is a weeknight, so we don't have super long, but this park is luckily open the latest, so it does give us some time to explore the festival as the music's getting louder and louder. But um, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do exactly. I know I want to see World Showplace. They have some decorations in there. I think the countries are decorated, so we'll probably walk around there. Definitely wanna go on Living with the Land. Yeah, and Figment. And Figment, because they have the Merry and Bright overlay, which we saw Amazing. last year, and it was incredible. I think it's the same, but it was really good. And then this year is the first time ever that Figment has a holiday sweater. Oh my god, when that was like announced and like people saw that. So exciting. Insane. Amazing. So, you may not think it's a big deal. It's just <laughs> a new sweater on the Figment animatronic. <laughs> but Figment's my favorite Disney character and he looks, he's never looked better. <laughs> and I love ugly sweaters. Yeah, so an imagination ugly sweater, very exciting. Yeah. So we will be going on it just to see Figment because yeah. why not? So definitely doing those two rides. May not ride anything else because we don't have that long, but we'll see. Those two probably are going to be walk-ons anyway, so that should not be hard to do. Yeah. And maybe look at some Festival of the Holidays merchandise, and yeah. then we'll call it a night. So we'll see what we get done, but it's very nice out. It's like 75, yeah. very comfortable. It was drizzling. But, but yeah, it seems like it's stopping, so I think we'll be okay. And Spaceship Earth looks great as always, so very excited to be here. So the first little update I wanted to start with, well, I don't even remember the last time we filmed here, but there's prisms on the fountain. I can't even remember if we addressed that yet or not. Probably. I think we did, but they did say it's going to be revealed later this year, this final construction wall will be taken down at the entrance, but I have seen posts online that water has been running on the fountain, like for the past few days. I thought that leaf was a frog. Oh no. Um, <laughs> so if water's running, it's gotta be done, so hopefully, It'll be revealed like any day now. I mean, sadly not today. We still got this beautiful construction wall, but hopefully soon. So here is a look at the 2020 Festival of the Holidays merchandise. So here is a spirit jersey with Chip and Dale on it, naughty and nice, with a Spaceship Earth cookie, and the bottom half is like a really furry material. Then this is one of the shirts that they have this year. This looks like the non-pass holder one, I guess. So may your holiday be nutty and bright. And it looks like it is $30. Got some ornaments here. Not specific to the festival, but you got some here. Then here is this year's cookie stroll cookie jar with a little ceramic Chippendale on top. Don't see a price on it because it's probably on the bottom, but if I happen to find that out, I'll let you guys know. And then there's another display I'll head over to as well. Here is the front of the spirit jersey with Chippendale like hanging on a spaceship earth ornament. Then they have Oh, I got a few different phone cases, or two different phone case designs here. One being Baking Spirit Sprite, which is the pass holder design. And then this really fun clear case with like an all over print. This is Festival of the Holidays 2020. And then here is another shirt, which is Santa's Little Helpers 35 and it's like a three quarter sleeve. And they have two magnets as well, both with Chip and Dale on it. Kind of matching the two different shirts that we saw and then I know there's another shirt I'll keep an eye out for it but this is the pass holder design and there's a t-shirt of it as well with the baking spirit sprite design here with the pass holder cookie now while we're in here I also wanted to show all the new 2021 merchandise which just, which just came out since we only have about two or three weeks left of the year so we got this Mickey sweater sweat jacket got some kids clothing Looks like a bucket hat. This all has the brand new design for 2021. So every year they update it for the current year. Already selling ornaments for 2021. Picture frames, beach towels. So Mouse Gear definitely has a very large selection of the 2021 merchandise, including, I have no idea what this is, like a little figure of Mickey. Oh, a little Skyliner car. So that's kind of fun. I don't see them making that a actual cabin, but a toy Skyliner with the year on it. It's kind of interesting. As well as since we're in here, I also wanted to point out a brand new service that they're trying to test out here in Mouse Gear, where you get these clear shopping bags and then you put all the items you'd like to buy in the bag. You can go onto your MDE app, My Disney Experience, scan the barcode of all these different items that you're buying. And then you can check out through like Apple Pay or with a credit card, 
and then just show your receipt on the way out on your phone and you don't have to wait in line at the cash register. So it is a mobile checkout option. So any of this new 2021 merchandise you could buy on your phone and completely skip the line here, which is really nice. And they do have wrapping for any breakable stuff you might get. So we are heading into World Showcase now. So here is our first look at the Epcot Christmas tree, which is massive. I don't know, it kind of feels like bigger than Magic Cannon to me, but I'm sure they're probably the same size. But I think we're getting this line for a photo pass. But yeah. Here's a closer look at the angel on top holding the globe. Very impressive tree. So we're heading into World Show Place really quick to take a look at the decorations in there. But right here by Canada, at the mill stage, they have the jammeter set up and it is very nice looking. That's fun, but we're gonna head into World Show Place. I know they have a big gingerbread display in there. I believe they have a uh, Olaf, like, statue display type thing, so we're gonna go check that out. So first up we have this Olaf and marshmallow display, which is super fun. This was kind of like an open space during Food and Wine, so I like that they added something here. So very fun photo op. Then directly across from Olaf, this is where the Food and Wine store was. It is now a holiday store for the festival of holidays has the merchandise that we saw over in mouse gear but it looks like there's actually some country holiday merchandise i specifically see i think some germany stuff so we'll have to head in here a little bit later to show that then we have another photo op here with a cool projection of chip and dale behind you that's super fun and it's got some little nutcrackers and some trees so yeah i kind of love how they're using this space in here and kind of filling in like the open areas that were kind of wasted during food and wine and then of course still a bunch of food booths in here so you have the holiday hearth in the background which i believe has like a bunch of like pre-packaged cookies like little like jars of cookies you can take home then there's prost which is the germany booth and i know they have schnitzel that's one of the items i definitely remember from the menu and then right here in the front is festival favorites again same booth that they had from food and wine but of course now with some favorites from the festival of the holidays so I'll try to take a quick look at that menu. So here's the menu for holiday favorites, or festival favorites, with black and bass, duck confit, gingerbread cookie, as well as a few different drinks. Frozen s'mores sounds really good. And the lines don't seem to be too bad in here. And then it looks like there's also a live entertainer somewhere. I definitely hear them. But we'll go take a look at the menu for Prost as well. So here is the menu for Prost, which is just a charcuterie and cheese menu, so, or cheese plate, so I guess, the Germany booth I'm thinking of is actually over by Germany, which kind of makes more sense. But a bunch of drinks available at this booth. And then here is the holiday hearth menu. So you have a red velvet mini bunt cake, salted caramel spaceship earth cookie, snowball cookies, peppermint bark, holiday fruit cake, and mouth crunch. So here is a quick, like they have little pictures of them. So I know the snowball cookies definitely come in a prepackaged jar. I know the spaceship earth cookie comes in a plastic wrapper, so really nice way to take them home if you don't want to eat everything while you're at the festival but i'm not too sure if the other ones come in packaging or not but i believe they do so i think all of this might be stuff you can get to go and they have a few beverages down at the bottom as well next up we're taking a look at the gingerbread capital city so once a year epcot celebrates it with a gingerbread display now they do have a distance line so that everyone can take their photos kind of spaced out, which is really nice. So we are next up to head up to the display and check out some of the details of it. Which is really nice to see this since they don't have like the gingerbread um, house in the Grand Floridian or in the Wilderness Lodge. So this was a nice way for them to still be able to do something made out of gingerbread, but allow it to be distanced. And it is really impressive looking. Very cool. And Amanda reminded me that down here it always gives the details of how much um, like ingredients were used to make it. So they always show that in like the Grand Floridian as well. So 165 pounds of gingerbread is a lot. So we're slowly making our way around. I see Washington Memorial, Lincoln Memorial. It's really, really cool. I, don't, I know in years past they've had this in the American Pavilion, but I've never gone in and looked at it before. MLK. Oh, the MLK the mo Monument. That's awesome. Or memorial. All the different memorials here. Interesting. And it is definitely like a very large display. They did a very good job with it. And then here's the back side. And this side says Happy Holidays. A little Mickey on a bicycle. 
Oh, Goofy's back by the Lincoln Memorial. Pluto's up on the balcony of the Capitol building, and then we've got Santa up there as well. Looks like we have the Jefferson Memorial. It is very, very cool. Very well done. So yeah, that's definitely worth checking out if you're here at Epcot during the Festival of the Holidays. All right, and on the way out, we're gonna take a quick look at the merchandise. Here's some of the Germany holiday ornaments. Lots of choices here. Got a blanket, fleece throw, with the same design as the shirt and the plate. So here's a look at the design here. Germany Pavilion, Epcot World Showcase. Got a shirt. That looks like the men's shirt maybe, and then this is a women's shirt with mini on it. Snow globe. Oh my a wooden God. Pack oh. Oh, an ornament that will be Amanda's, I'm sure. <laughs> that was I unexpected. Love her. An unexpected development. She's so it's perfect. Oh, but I love how it has the Epcot logo on it for the World Showcase. Oh, it's really cool. And there's also a sweat jacket here with the same design with Mickey on it. As well as these two like kitchen items. Little tray. And I did want to show that last shirt that Mouse Gear was sold out of, which is the Passholder Baking Spirit Spray shirt. So they do have it here in World Show Place. So if you're looking for it, you can come in here to get it. Alright, so the first ride of the day is gonna be checking out Figment's new sweater. You know, I'm sorry, but after that big stink in the smell lab, I hesitate to send you into the touch and taste labs. Perhaps I should end my open house right here. Great idea! We'll go to my open house instead. It's much more fun. Right this way, everybody. Figment, what is going on? You're turning this entire open house upside down. Upside down? Now you're talking. That's the best idea you had all day. With just a spark. the Living with the Land Merry and Bright holiday overlay. Figment sweater was of course incredible, so next up, time for ride number two. scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients.
Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature. May include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. All right, here is our food item for the night. I got the coconut pudding from the Hawaii booth. I already took a bite out of it, so I forgot to film it, but it was very good. It's definitely a very strong coconut flavor, and it has macadamia nuts on top. I'm a big fan of Hawaiian food, so I do like this one. Don't think we're going to probably try anything else tonight but this is definitely a good option to get all right that is going to be it for our visit out to epcot so didn't try a ton of festival food but i kind of expected that because it was a quick trip and i will say like it's the, not the biggest festival like it's right. not like the festival holiday is not really about the food quite as much as some of the other ones they do have some good options but it's not like one that we rush to try all the food at um surprisingly art festival has a lot of food i like Flower and Garden, Food and Wine. I mean, they all have good food, but yeah. Holiday Festival is just not like something that we rushed to get. Um, but I did like the pudding I had. That was tasty. Um, we have had stuff from the Jewish booth in the past years. That was always good, but we've had it before, so we didn't need to try that again. But um, I was glad that we at least got to visit, got to see the tree again, which was always fun. See some of the decorations around Love Future seeing World. Love Figment and Living with the Land. That was great. Love his Amazing. sweater. Amazing. Oh my god, so good. I will say like some of the countries had a little bit of decorations, but it wasn't much yeah, so I didn't film it. Yeah, like Germany and like Just USA, like a little bit of garland. Um, so yeah, nothing major in the countries, but that's pretty typical. But yeah, definitely really um, enjoyed the overlays. I would definitely recommend coming out for those. Um, that was definitely the highlight of the day for yeah. sure. Love seeing the greenhouse with the lights. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the best video of it because we were towards I think we were in like row four mm -hmm. and with the barriers between the rows now the like uh, plexiglass type thing it is it's hard to film to, yeah so there yeah. were definitely like some views i would have liked to have gotten looking into the greenhouse from the front but wasn't going to take the time to request for one so maybe another time or next year when it hopefully returns mm -hmm. again Better. <laughs> but definitely subscribe to our channel to see what we have coming up we will be heading out to give kids the world yes i'm so excited yeah. so never been there they have their night of a million lights um to like bring in money for the village so we're really excited to check that out that will definitely be our next video mm -hmm. so um yeah subscribe to our channel to see our visit out to give kids the world and then whatever else we have coming up for the rest of the year hopefully some fun things that we can share with you but thanks for watching and we'll see you guys the next time we go to disney and beyond mm -hmm.